like Devlin is still really upset with Riley Shepard from last time that they tagged. Devlin's still upset because Riley made her bleed from the mouth. Well, she better not be too distracted because they've got a serious challenge looking straight across from the ring from them. And this is serious business when you see this tag team tournament that's going to start here tonight. Riley said because of these trophies are shiny and purple that she is going to try to get along with Devlin tonight. Do you think they modeled them after her? Um, she is probably purple's greatest star. And here we go, we're off with a they're locked up. Tina pushed back into the corner. Five count is on. And look at that, a nice clean break, isn't that nice? See, Riley is the one that can play the mind games, though. She was trained by Damian Adams, the same person who trained both Tina and Tiara. Well, that'll certainly be an advantage, and it's, and it's not going to help if these, other, if these other ladies can't work together. They need to get over their problems real quick if they're going to get any closer to one of those trophies. Tina, a 12-year vet, she's technically trained. For my money, one of the most underrated women on the independence. She has just a lot of star power, and she knows exactly what she's doing and how to hurt someone. Yeah, it looks like she's being very systematic with that arm right now, and I don't think anyone would argue CCW has the best women's talent in one place that I've ever seen. Riley getting control. After a beautiful fire, and carry, she goes into works on that arm. Kind of returning the favor, if you will. Oh, big knee. That'll break up an arm bar any day. And Tiara finds herself immediately in one of those arm bars herself. See, that's what I'm saying. Same trainer. Notice everybody working the arm. These ladies just know what ooh, the other might be trained to do. That shot that it got aside, that is a very interesting observation. Could be an advantage and a disadvantage, I guess we'll see. And that almost makes Devlin the dark horse in this. Devlin, one of those people just so aggressive. The way that Eddie Kingston studies the Japanese wrestlers, we have Devlin studying people like John Moxley and just exciting and just bordering on that lunatic freak. The word dangerous comes to my mind. Exactly. And here she goes from the top. Double axe handle dead on that arm. And she finds herself in enemy territory. These two ladies tagging in and out. They came in the ring arguing, but look at them now. They're cutting everything off. They are making it their match right now. So they've got a little bit that they, they might have put a couple of uh, things aside and hopefully let's see uh, what happens. Well, they're professionals, I'm sure. The referee trying to get some control here. Goes for the pin, one. And just like that, almost over. Um, Tiara's gonna need to make a tank. She's in trouble out there. She was getting overwhelmed for just a little bit too long. Got stuck in that corner. There she goes, clean break? No, I don't think so. After the reversal, on the move. Beautiful arm drag. She walks up and wanders right into another one. This time she keeps her down, working that shoulder over. Somebody's gonna lose an arm in this match. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be Tiara. At oh, right, and did you see that? Two knees right to the face. Picks her up with ease, suplex, and goes for the pin. That's gotta be it. She has a mean streak in her. And look at this. 
look at this. Now you see encouragement coming from the corner where we saw, saw a little arguing earlier. Finally getting out. Got to give her credit for making her way over there. Double team off the rope, two elbows to the chest. And at this point, Tiara says, okay, I'll leave. Devlin rolling out of the way, but answered with a kick to the ribs. And that was done perfectly. Absolutely nailed that suplex. Off the rope, here she comes. Big elbow, but she misses, nobody home. I want to see this part of the match. We have probably the least experienced wrestler versus the most experienced wrestler. And Devlin's still keeping up a fight. But when it comes to something like this, everybody wants to get their hands on one of those cups. And that just raises, raises everybody's intensity. And I'll tell you something, look at the shape these ladies are in. It is 95 degrees outside, probably over 100 in here, not a single one of them is sweating. I've said it once and I'll say it again, the women division, the depth in this company, and the waves that they are making is just phenomenal. Absolutely, like I said earlier, and I'll say it again, the, the, greatest, oh. the greatest roster of women's talent I've seen in one place ever. And I love, I love it. And if you haven't caught up on all the CCW or 1CW Pro Wrestling events, go on the Delaware Sports Network and you can check out all the episodes from, I think, what was it December on or from July on? I think or it's January. From, I, I think, think it's, it's December on. I could from be. From December on, plenty to catch up on. If you've never seen these two and you're just looking at it for the first time, you're missing out. So go take a look on Delaware Sports Network and get yourself caught up. Whip into the corner. And hard with authority. Another to the other side. This time, chest first, straight into the buck. Ooh, breaks the nails. back. And that, I imagine she got some long nails, and that looks like hitting her. And she's just working that lower back over. And that's the worst part of the back to hit in that way. You just, the lower back cannot take much abuse like that. The gladiator of the geeks trying to reach over. It doesn't look like she's going to get the opportunity to tag in, though. Well, it's she's oh! trying to crawl past her corner with her opponent in her way, and she takes she takes a suplex for her effort. Go for the pin. This should be an easy one. Well, somehow, probably of an instinct alone, kicks out of that. If Devlin's one thing, she is a fighter. Back down for control. But you see, Tina Smart not just trying to not just trying to hurt her opponent, but trying to wear her down as well. She's keeping that wide base, hoping that it's enough to push her back. Tiara jumps in. What's going to happen? And here we go with the referee not looking. Both of these women are in the ring, trying to gain control right now. Doesn't Tiara seem back to be working because the Altair is back in. Devlin. Battle of who's going to get to the corner first. It doesn't even look like the ladies know what corner they're in. And the 10 count being put on both of them. Both ladies make it to their knees. Both ladies trying to crawl to and their corner. And it's going to be first is going to be. It's Tiara in. Now Riley. And here we go. It is on two fresh women in the ring, and they are going at it. Double axe handle to the chest. And another. 
slyly taking no prisoners. This is why she is the gladiator of the geese. Oh my goodness, did you see that uppercut? Now she's got her up, what's she gonna do? Look at that, out the back door. Setting her up, setting her up. Just throwing her with authority. TNT. TNT is in trouble here. Tiara is right in the middle. Her partner is hurt outside. Big boot to the face. She got most of it, but she... looks like they're not finished yet. Up and huge, over. Huge backdrop. She threw him all the way across the ring. And somehow. Almost. How was that a kick out? Somehow she gets out of that. Like I said, instinct alone to see sometimes here. Tina and Riley outside of the ring. Devlin, Tiara fighting. Look at this. Oh! Is that it? Hooks the leg, face first into the canvas, and she gets the win! So I'm going to guess. Maybe they might have put their differences aside. Well, if they just did it for these past few minutes, or this 10 or 15 minutes, and that was enough, because they have moved one step further in the Capital Tag Tournament. Just an amazing match, and this is the first match of the Capital Tag Tournament. And let's see if these two ladies can keep it together on June 25th when this tournament continues. It's purple and black, and look at this. They're friends again, finally. Able to put their differences aside. Looking happy, celebrating. And swell they should.